Get ready to dive into the world of the Ukrainian self-made naval kamikaze sea drone, a high-tech marvel that's making waves in naval warfare. Picture this, a naval drone that can extract water from a hatch below it and then unleash a powerful jet of water, propelling it at an astonishing speed of 50 miles per hour. But what's even more mind-blowing is that this cutting-edge technology only costs $250,000, comparing to its potential targets, which are valued at a staggering cost of $650 million. They usually operate like a wolf pack, hunting their target while being controlled through the Starlink video feeds, destroying bridges, and recently managing to penetrate an important harbor resulting with the damage of two vessels. We will also be looking into the step-by-step -step process of how this works and the engineering behind it, all in the videos ahead, so don't miss a beat. We're taking a deep dive into the guts of a Ukrainian naval sea drone. And guess what's at the core of this bad boy? You won't believe it. The engine straight out of a sea do jet ski. You heard that right. They've ingeniously repurposed a jet ski engine to power this underwater marvel. Let's break down the tech and see how it all comes together. So right at the heart of this aquatic wonder is the trusty engine borrowed from a sea do jet ski. Just like you fire up your car, this drone kicks into action with a similar ignition system. But here's the kicker, no transmission involved. All the raw power generated by the engine goes straight into a robust drive shaft, which in turn is connected to an impeller. As that engine roars to life, the drive shaft and impeller spring into action. Picture this. The impeller starts rotating, drawing water from the depths around it. This water flows in from the bottom and gets channeled out through the rear end. And here's where things get interesting. The force generated by this jet-like water flow propels the drone forward. It's like when you're out on the water and the jet ski pushes ahead. Only this time it's the drone that's riding the aquatic wave. So summing it up with the engine power converted into this impressive water jet, the drone surges ahead thanks to the forceful water propulsion. It's a smart way to move this naval marvel in the direction it needs to go. Let's cast our eyes on the crown of this technological wonder. Right at the top, we've got the communication antenna. Now here's where things get interesting. Take a wild guess. Could this be a piece of Starlink equipment hiding underneath that sleek cover? Now, moving to the sides of the drone, you'll notice not one, but two round access hatches. These little portals are like the secret doors to the drone's inner workings. But wait, there's more. Up top, there's the big player, the main access hatch. This hatch holds the key to all the crucial components, including the engine that makes this baby tick. Get ready to dive into the drone's point of view. Up here is the electro-optical device boasting some top-notch infrared imaging capabilities. Imagine seeing the world through its lens. And now we arrive at a compartment that holds quite a surprise, a warhead. It's got a historical twist to it, though. This warhead has a backstory as it was sourced from Soviet aircraft ammunition. This hints at the potential use of FAB-100 or FAB-250 bombs as the explosive payload. But how does this all come to life? It's triggered by a two of intriguing objects located at the bow. These objects, which resemble impact fuses from the Soviet era, play a vital role in activating the drone's mission. This underwater wonder measures in at a sleek 5.6 meters, making it perfectly agile for maneuvering through the depths. Despite its powerful capabilities, the naval sea drone boasts a weight of up to 1,000 kilograms, ensuring it remains swift and nimble beneath the waves. Get ready to be amazed. This drone can cover an astonishing distance of up to 450 kilometers on a single mission. But wait, there's more. With an extended range capability of up to 900 kilometers, this drone can explore far and wide like no other. The Naval Sea Drone doesn't back down easily. With a remarkable endurance of up to 61 hours, it's equipped to handle those lengthy underwater expeditions. And here's the kicker. This high-tech marvel can carry a payload of up to 200 kilograms, allowing for a wide range of equipment and mission objectives. Hold your breath, because this drone can zip through the water at a mind-boggling top speed of 81 kilometers per hour. Navigating through the depths is a breeze for this drone. It utilizes a combination of GNS, inertial sensors, and visual cues to maintain its course with precision. Let's take a look at how this works. Step 1. The engine roars to life, and as it does, something intriguing happens. The hatch cracks open and rushes water from the depths. But that's not all. This water takes a well-designed route, flowing in from the bottom and skillfully channeled out through the rear end. Step 2. The real magic happens. 
Enter Starlink communication, a futuristic feature that comes to life. As the naval drone takes its first steps, Starlink kicks in, providing vital guidance to the operators. Step 3. These cutting-edge naval drones don't travel solo, they prefer the company of their fellow drones. A typical operation involves a squadron of six to seven naval drones working in unison. Step 4, where the operator takes the reins. Guiding the drone is no easy task, and it's all done through video feeds. The operator becomes the drone's eyes and ears, making sure it stays on course. When the target is in sight, it's time to kick things into high gear. The operator pushes the throttle to the max, laser-focused on the colossal objective. Step 5. Imagine the drone striking the ship's hull with pinpoint accuracy. And here's the twist. Remember that fuse at the front. It's time for it to shine. The fuse activates the switch, triggering a piece of Soviet-era tech, a bomb designed to pack a punch. This explosive payload is set to damage this Russian intelligence ship's worth $675 million. Let's take a look at how they execute one of the mission. Take this, an arsenal of security measures included nets, pontoons, and barriers to detect potential enemy divers. On a fateful day, a group of seven maritime drones execute a meticulously planned infiltration of the highly fortified harbor. These naval drones, operating as a synchronized unit, managed to breach the defenses that were once thought impenetrable. The concept revolves around the notion that should merely two among them successfully reach the assigned target, the potential for inflicting damage would have been realized. The strike hit multiple vessels, including at least one high-valuable target, a frigate, and several other ships. It creates a psychological effect on the other party, and it prompts them to stay vigilant. Now let's direct our attention to the impressive structure known as the Crimea Bridge. Spanning a staggering 227 meters, this engineering marvel was brought to life at an astonishing cost of around $3.7 billion. The Mysterious Naval Drones Picture this, it's around 1 or 2 in the pitch black morning, and something unusual is about to happen. From undisclosed locations, two naval drones with a quirky name C. Beatty are preparing for launch. The target, the very heart of the Crimea Bridge. With its primary aim fixed on the rail crossing bridge, these drones are about to unleash an unexpected chain of events. As the naval drones are released into the night seas, fate seems to have other plans. Instead of hitting the intended rail crossing bridge, two of the drones mistakenly took the target pillars of the road bridge and collides with it, missing the rail bridge by a few meters. The collision creates a resounding impact, leaving behind a noticeable dent and a brief disruption in transportation. These kinds of attack creates a sense of psychological fear on the other party, resulting in putting more strained resources into protecting the bridge. This is the AC-130 gunship nicknamed the Angel of Death, a special video coming up soon. Studying the engineering behind it in original 4K 3D animation, made from scratch with a very small team working on it full time. So please support us by hitting the subscribe and notification bell for more videos to come.